Hi, my name is Graham Manietta. I run a small business called Oz Electric Vehicles or Oz DIY Electric Vehicles. Um, what we have here is a Toyota 70 Series Land Cruiser. A special project for a particular client who lives, uh, lives a little bit uh, out west and uh, has, while he has great solar and, and, and battery capacity, um, it was still quite costly to get uh, 200 litre drums of uh, diesel to his property. The electric motor we put in here is around 300 horsepower and about a thousand newton metres of torque. By my reckoning it's probably double what the car originally left with. Uh, it has that much torque we don't even bother using first, second or third. We just take off in fourth gear and that takes us all the way up to highway cruising speed. If you want to be a little, uh, a little quick off the mark, just leave it in third gear. There's plenty enough revs in this electric motor to still do quite a good speed on the highway. We fitted it out with a 70 kilowatt pack, being a very heavy vehicle, around about the 250 kilometre range. That's what we'll get out of this one here. Um, quite, a, quite an appropriate vehicle for, for, uh, for what he wants to use it for. Um, we've fed in uh, uh, adjustable regen braking, so going down some of the steep hills on his property. Um, yeah, no problem at all. He um, has tried it out. He's towed a, um, one cow on a, a particular trailer. Uh, from some remote spot of his property. The reason that's important, if you're going down a steep hill in four-wheel drive, you want to be able to use your motor to slow the vehicle down rather than your brake pedal. So by winding up the amount of regen, you're basically getting a lot of power back into your battery while you're slowing the vehicle down and taking any load off your brakes. You rarely use the brakes with that in an off-road situation. Anyway, so that's it. It's about ready to go back to the client. We actually built him a, a big storage battery as well, about a 20 kilowatt storage battery, uh, recycling old electric vehicle cells out of other cars that we've upgraded. So he's now got extra storage for his uh, power. He should never have to buy power in for this vehicle. He's certainly got enough uh, solar on his property and enough battery storage on his property to do that. And this is the way of the future, particularly with remote properties. Why would you want to be shipping in 200 litre drums of diesel? A very costly episode. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the Land Cruiser.